So if you're new to roundabouts, then watch this video. I'm gonna be covering some left turns, some going ahead and some right turns. I'm gonna try and keep it as simple as I can. And I'm gonna talk about what, I, what you should be doing on the approach to a roundabout and um, what sort of gear you should be in, what sort of speed on the approach you should be giving way to. Let's get going. So I'm just gonna pull away from here and um, we're gonna do a left turn at the end of the road and the speed limit's gonna be 60 miles an hour on the road we're gonna to go to. So let's just check them centre mirror left and signal left. And looking for a big gap. That's big enough, that'll do me. So we're gonna approach a roundabout and we're gonna go ahead. So it's pretty straightforward. You just gotta set yourself. On the approach, there's a roundabout sign. There's a in the distance. I'm going to use a left lane to go ahead. Checking my mirrors. There's a car going past me. I'm going to start easing off the gas, slowing down for second gear. I'm in fourth gear at the moment. Slowing down for second. Getting down to 20 mile an hour for second gear before the bend. Checking to the right. It's definitely clear. Final check. I'm in the left lane going past the bend. Turn with the bend first and then check your mirrors. And then let them know you're coming off. And the mirrors is centre mirror, left mirror. What's behind you? What's the side of you? And then cancel your signal after the bend, building your speed back up, back up to third, keeping on that ramp, that bus, into fourth gear, building my speed up, keeping the gap from the car in front of me. So we're going to go ahead again, and uh, same sort of thing. So I'll be repeating the, the, the same routine. So I'm keeping the space from the car in front of me, so I've got a two second gap because it's not raining. It's, the weather's a bit dull, but not raining. And I can see the roundabout sign in the distance. So that's going to prompt me to check my mirrors and, and signal if it need be, but I'm not going left or right, so there's no signal required. So I'm going to check my mirrors as I'm getting close, start braking to bring the speed down, and I'll bring it down from 45, 50 then to about, there's the bend, just before the bend, second gear, 18 mile an hour, lifting off the clutch very gently, checking to my right, final check, and entering. Now as I enter, turn with the bend, like I said, and then mirrors signal because what, what you'll try and do at first is you'll try and do your mirrors and signal and then turn and you're going to head towards the curb too much so get that car turning with the bend and you'll find it easier and also um, on the approach just, just remember to when you're lifting that clutch off in second gear don't be in such a rush to lift that clutch off you've got all the time from when you change the gear to get into the roundabout to lift it off so there's no rush if you feel the judder you can't come off too quick so this time we're going to go left, so it's centre mirror, left mirror, signalling, gently braking, a bit more pressure, bring that speed down just before that lamp post where the bend is, back down to 20 mile an hour, down from fourth to second, and a slowly, slowly lifting the clutch up. I'm off the clutch now, checking, that car's quite far away, it's not going to affect me. And I'm building my speed up, and as I straighten back up, this signal cancels itself, if it didn't I would. And I'm into third gear, into fourth gear, building that speed right back up again. So as we approach the roundabout, we're gonna be doing a left turn again. So as we get closer, center mirror, left mirror, signaling, slowing myself down. And like I keep repeating it, it's getting that speed down gradually. If you find yourself having to brake hard at the towards a roundabout right close then you're obviously bringing your speed down a bit too late and and the opposite would be if you're bringing your speed down too much too too soon then you're changing gear to second gear quite far away from the roundabout and it's going to cause cars behind you to maybe overtake you or you maybe if you're going to too slow too far away so it's, it's a gradual decrease of speed at, so it kind of times it just right so when you get to the point where you want to change gear it's the time it's much close to runabout. <clears throat> so we're going to go um, left again. Same sort of thing. I'm doing 50 miles an hour. So I'm checking my mirrors, signaling, off the gas, braking, bringing that speed down. A little bit more pressure, a bit more pressure, a bit more pressure. Getting down to 20 mile an hour, a little bit less pressure. Down to second gear, checking. I'm in second gear, off the clutch completely, and I'm off. And I'm building my speed back up, and I'm doing third gear off the bend at that point so if you're struggling with that don't don't worry about trying to change gears on bends get off the straight onto straight first so let's um, 
do some right turns now. So we're going to do a right turn third exit. So I'm checking my mirrors, I'm signalling, letting that car on come across, slowing myself down, bringing my speed down for second gear again, getting it down quite nice just before the bend, taking my time, checking to the right, that's who you give way to. And I'm following it round. There's your first exit, there's your second exit, and I'm checking my mirrors, signaling to come across. And if it's clear, I'm come across to the left. If it's not clear, I'm gonna take the, take the right lane to come off and then get across to the left when I can. So I'm gonna do an, an, another right turn this time. So we're gonna to look to change lanes when we get closer. There's a dual lane. So I'm checking my mirrors. I'm gonna show a signal. And as I come across, I'm easing off the gas, braking, bring that speed down just before the bend. And I'm back to second gear, checking to the right. And it's definitely clear. There's your first exit. There's your second exit. There's a third exit. Mirror signal to come off. And I'm coming off. So we'll carry on. So we're going to go ahead at the next roundabout and uh, second exit so I'm looking at what's happening ahead of us and it's saying oh there's a lane change so I'm checking my mirrors and I'm coming across because the left lane is going left only you can see it on the ground and that's what you've got to remember is, is when you're doing these sort of things also to look at the lane markings so I'm using the middle lane to go ahead so I'm slowing down for second like I've been doing checking to the right there's a traffic coming through so I'm slowing down the first definitely clear as I enter I'm back to the left lane on the roundabout so that one's slightly different then because it said left lane went left only so I'm gonna go ahead again and, and this is what you gotta remember is that roundabouts are pretty straightforward you always give way to your right and um, when you're approaching it look at the lane markings see what it's telling you so we're going to follow the road ahead again so i'm checking my mirrors now and i'm going to start slowing down because downhill and there's three lanes there the left goes left the middle goes ahead so i want the middle one for this point and i'm checking definitely clear coming across to my left side and i'm checking my mirrors signaling to come off building my speed back up and i straighten back up cancel the signal down to fourth gear there's a roundabout and I'm going to go right at the roundabout. So I'm checking my mirrors, signalling, checking in the right lane I'm going to be, slowing down for that second gear as we've been talking about, dropping down to a lower gear for second, checking to the right. It's definitely clear. I can definitely enter. There's your first exit. And you start preparing for the third one. There's your second. So as I pass this sign, check my mirrors, signalling to come off. So I'm hoping this quick, simple video on roundabouts is helping you. If it's making a difference and you, it's, it's definitely making it a bit clearer, then feel free to share the video, feel free to give it a like and uh, watch out my next video next time.